Hello viewers, I hope you're all doing well. It's been a week since I uploaded any video, so I thought today I would upload a self -pip writing task one and task two. I wrote it with a student of mine. In fact, this candidate is applying for PR into Canada through Express Entry. So definitely he would be requiring a CLB 9 or 10, but on the writing, I always target CLB 11 or 12. Let's see what do we have here. Let's get started. All right. Let me share the screen. Okay. You are working for a company. You need to take some time off work and want to ask your manager about this, write a letter to your manager in about 150 to 200 words. Your email should do the following things. Explain why you want to take time off work. Give details of the amount of time you need. Suggest how you your work could be covered while you are away. So this is a formal letter, even though it's it looks as though it's uh, your company email, but it is not. On the self-pip writing, or even for that matters, on the IELTS writing, you have to make sure that you address uh, dear sir or madam. That's the way you write. You don't write dear John like how, or hey John, how you write, in fact, in your uh, office emails. So refrain from doing so because they will penalize you. The assessors, at least four assessors or three assessors are going to assess your writing. So be careful. So write by saying only dear sir or madam. All right, dear sir or madam, I'm writing this letter to let you know that my sister just informed me that my mother has been admitted in the hospital and she is in a very serious condition. This unexpected news made me feel that I should be with my family members in these troubled times. Therefore, I request you to allow me to take a week off from work because I need to travel to Toronto immediately. Moreover, I want to visit her at the hospital and help my sister and father by giving them support in these painful times. Furthermore, I assure you that my work will be delegated to our other team members and I can log in remotely a few hours to get the work completed on time every day. I called up Sarah and she agreed to it, but I will be of help and make it up to them when they have similar situation like mine. I would appreciate it if you understand this moment of mine that I'm going through right now. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yours sincerely, Siddharth. Now, some of you might ask me the question that, why can't I write yours faithfully or why can't I write best regards and things like that. From formal letters on the self pip writing alone, you should write yours sincerely and give your name. Never say X, Y, Z or anything like that because it's you who is doing the writing. All right, let's look at the task two. In task one and task two, you are allowed to write a 10% extra of 200 words. Believe me, you can write up to 220 words and please do not exceed more than 220 words. Okay, then task two. It's a survey, NGO survey, cell pip writing nuclear plants. So it's about nuclear plants, all right. So for the task one, you'll be given 27 minutes and for the task two, you'll be given 26 minutes. Let's see what we have here, NGO survey. You are living in a country where most of the power is generated by nuclear plants. An independent NGO has sent out an opinion survey to see what residents feel about the safety of the nuclear plants. Choose the option that you prefer. Why do you prefer your choice? Explain the reasons for your choice. 
write about 150 to 200 words. Option A, solar energy. It's free, it's abundant, but expensive. Option B, nuclear plants. Steps should be taken to make existing nuclear plants safer. So if you take up solar energy, it's free, it's abundant, but expensive, then I think I would have enough thing to write about option A than option B. You can even write about option B, but I have selected solar energy is the right option. Let's see what do we have here. You can either write by saying to whom it may concern or even without. Even otherwise, you can just start by saying most nations, like how you do on the IELTS essay, you can write it. But it is better to write a self task to survey by saying to whom it may concern. Okay, let's get started. Most nations use nuclear energy to supply power in their cities. However, solar energy is more prevalent even though it is exorbitantly high. In my opinion, solar energy is much safer than the nuclear facilities and can cater to many other countries. To begin with, sun is the source of solar energy and it is easily available in hot places. For instance, in India, the solar power plants are gaining glory and it is looking at distributing energy as an inclusive growth to other developing and neighboring states. Furthermore, it can be affordable by even developed nations and the carbon footprint can be curtailed to a great extent. On the other hand, nuclear plants are sometimes hazardous compared to solar energy and requires high maintenance costs as well. For example, there have been instances of untoward incidences in every other nuclear plant in the past. Nevertheless, solar energy is by far the safest and it can be made available to every other citizen at subsidized cost with government's intervention. In conclusion, I believe option A is appropriate. Using solar energy, many nations can stop the ozone depletion in the longer run. Nonetheless, any decision taken by the non-governmental organization will be a welcome gesture according to the outcome of the survey. Regards, Siddharth. So Siddharth was, was the candidate with whom I wrote this particular task one and task two just about yesterday. Okay, viewers, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is Sridhar signing off from Selpip Academy. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button also comment below. This way I'll be able to come up with more such videos in the future, which is going to benefit you. So please subscribe now and not later. Thanks for watching this video. See you on the other side. Bye-bye.